Hi guys, welcome to Lovely Twin 22. Vanessa here speaking and today we have another pick a card reading and this is what do you need to know right now. Um, it was requested to me by St. Michael the Archangel. It's because of the coronavirus. That's why a lot of people are being stressed out or feeling left out, depressed, and so forth. And since a lot of people are freaking out, it's the perfect time the angels say to release this video. The angels say, and the heaven also wants to send you some messages from up above to here, okay? And they want you to know how much, you know, um, they are very worried. Um, about people that are getting hurt with regards to the situation, um, especially the poor people and the oppressed, the angels say. So if you can um, contribute um, to these poor people, the angels say, um, the heaven will reward you with a lot of blessings after this crisis if you can, okay? Contribute, the angels say. Um, is there anything else? Um, the angels say it is because some people wasn't able to save some money before this issue. That's why right now they're struggling um, where they can get some money for them to eat, for them to have food and water at least. And the angels wants you to know that, you know, the whole world is actually in crisis about it. And the angels say that you don't have to fear um, anyone, um, even the soldiers in the Philippines, the angels say they're not gonna hurt you. Um, they just want you to follow the guidelines, the angels say. Um, it's for the best because the angels say they're very sad. Um, in some cases, you know, um, even if um, you have a good precedent example, no matter whom is the president or whom is the ruler of your country, a lot of people will be um, a critic, the angels say. Like, they never be satisfied. And so, the angels are trying to tell you guys, okay, to focus on the good side of things rather than always criticize people. And remember that, you know, we are all... A not perfect individual even if you share or you say to yourself that you're a light worker well we create mistakes as well and we're just human beings who create human errors sometimes and right now it's not a perfect time to judge people it is now a perfect time for us to reflect on ourselves and also to do good things for others if we have more um, especially the poor the angels say they are calling on to every light workers whom are called on by the divine to share your blessings the angels say some light workers are rich the angels say and God gave them a lot of blessings because God knows that these people can be able to provide for the poor. Don't ever forget um, what the divine has sent you. Since you are blessed, you need to share it to others as well. If ever you can't, at least be there for others. Um, for some light workers out there who has a channel, you're being called on by the divine to do some readings and in your free time, they are being asked um, by the heaven to live, to go on live, okay, if you have time or if you have hunches that you have to do it within the day. But if you don't have any hunches within a certain day, um, don't force yourself. Because could be on that timing, okay, your guides are away. That that can happen. Because one time, you know, I really want to do live, but then, you know, um, of course the guides that I have, which is the angels, are very busy, especially now that you know a lot, a lot in what's happening to the world is, um, in crisis and. 
Of course, angels need to assist those people, so I understand that. And there are some certain days that they ask me to go on live, and sometimes they ask me to do pick a card readings. Basically, right now, um, I can summon much Archangel Raphael because um, that angel is the angel of you know health. And that angel is helping people to heal. And as well as the angels say, though there is an absence of some angels, you're being guided on by the divine to do what you need to do as of this time of pose and healing. Because the angels say, though some people are bored, sometimes we need to be aware that this pose in life is um will bring us good advantage the angels say because some people forgot to rest some people forgot the value of money could be their overspending and then when crisis come or came in they don't have anything on their plate so we are being called on to learn something from this crisis as well the angels say and learn how to save some money in times like this the angels say so anyway for some of you if you can contribute you can pray okay you can pray for those who are sick for those who are depressed oppressed and feeling nostalgic at this moment in time those who are in the hospital the angels say because a lot of doctors or even nurses are getting affected by virus even even if they wear some protective mask and so first to be honest with you it's a very sad news here in the philippines that some of the doctors um nurse, nurses as well the angels say already died because of the virus because they are frontliners and i just hope that you know the divine will give them strength will give them um a shield against this virus and let's hope and pray for the recovery of those people especially those that are not yet ready to go up there because you know um they need their soul to be cleansed or they need at least to clear their bad karmas all right with good karmas they need to change for the whole world the angels say because the angels told me some of the affected are um very somebody that are seniors okay that's not yet doing anything that's good for for the people or for others so that's why you need to pray for those people so that the heaven will give them another chance to change themselves to change their life and learn something from this issue because even here okay the angels say even here in my country to be honest with you you're seeing who are good people versus the not and i'm really sad about seeing really um those who are rich that are playing like a vip on the hospitals um that's why the poor people are neglected on having their own medicine that was given to them by you know the public hospitals and that's why the angels are asking you please pray for the poor or please help the poor people because even in around the world they are neglected or um they don't have anything to eat especially that you know the whole world or some countries are in deep isolation so all you can do is to contribute for them the angels say so is there anything else they said that's it so anyway we got five bells here number one is angel of destiny number two angel of magic number three angel of innocence number four angel of transformation number five angel of wisdom 
Now choose wisely, don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate. So the angels told me that in this time of need, let's help each other out, the angels say. Is there anything else? They said that's it. So anyway, you guys, just post the video if you're not yet ready. I'll proceed now with number one. Guys, for those who chose number one, which is the Angel of Destiny, the Wheel of Fortune card, here is your reading. So we'll see. What does the Divine wants you to know? Or what do you need to know right now? So here is the overall theme of this reading. You got to be fair. All that glitters. Peace. And then truth be told. Also the yin. And then deep knowing. And then no place like home. I feel like you could be dealing with a cheater. That's what I'm sensing. But you will see about your magic cards for further information. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what the spell number one needs to know right now. Three more shuffles, they say. I have a feeling that it is more likely about your divine purpose here on earth that they also want to share. I feel like they want to share a lot of things towards you. Whom are they? Well, the angels, your spirit guides, whomever is the one who's providing guidance for your everyday life. Whomever you believe in. I feel like you're gentle and loving and kind. But I feel like you're caught up in the middle. You could be someone who has a lot of suitors and you don't know which way to go. I feel like you have been single for a very long time, but you're doubtful about your options. And I feel like you're afraid of getting hurt again. That's why you have this reading. Like You need to know which way to go. But I feel like um, one of your suitors is a player. The angels say that that person is frustrated because you don't like him or her. And I feel like you need to tell the truth to this person to be honest with you. Now we will see about your tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what um, what the spell number one needs to know right now. So as the angels say that you have to relax as of this time. I feel like you're still thinking a lot and very obsessed could be about with your Divine counterpart, the angels say, if you already know your twin, but you don't know what to do, how to approach your person. I feel like um, this moment is challenging for you, like you're indecisive when it comes to love life, but you're doing very well in terms of your work. So anyway, here is the overall energy of this reading that's affecting your reading. Okay, so what is the outcome? I feel like someone is jealous of you. Jealous of your success, number one. And I feel like that person really likes you too. But they will clarify the cards so we may understand even further. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. I feel like they're jealous of your success. 
I feel like、um, those people that are jealous of you, they have money issues or they have self confidence issues. Some of you, you could be dating a karmic partner. The sacred resonates, guys, because there's a lot of energy I'm sensing as of this time. So, if you're someone who's dating a karmic partner, the angels say you know already what to do. But the angels say that heaven is waiting for you to take. Or make an action with regards to it. My sword chakra seems like blocked in your reading, but I don't know why. So, could be you're not being honest, okay, to yourself. That could be. That's why there's a tendency that you're blocked. Anyway, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So, you got the two worlds here. Now, what I want you to know is that、um, you're stuck with a karmic partner if you're stuck with it, and I feel like you know already that you want to break free because you're bored or you're not getting what you want with this other person, and you're thinking of finding a new lover. I feel with this page of cups and with the three of pentacles being in reverse, I feel like someone likes you as well, but unfortunately, they're not really standing in their power. Um, there's someone who is imaginative. I feel like they're friendly. That's what I'm sensing, and you're contemplating on whom to choose. If ever you don't have any karmic partner. You don't know which to choose with the three of cups, but you're aware that one of them, the page of cups, is someone that is not stable in terms of career,、um, a poor person, or someone who has self-confidence issues, or people around them look look like this to them, like、um, they're being watched over by others. Um, in a very low sense, like they're thinking negatively of this person that,、um, that has their eyes on you. Can't hardly speak. Could be that person that has a low status, really stuttering with his or her words, since that person can only offer you a small cup offer with a page of cups. So this is your energy, loving elemental. So the angels wants you to know that you're really a loving person. That's why a lot of people are drawn to you. I feel like you're someone who doesn't really, you know, looking for someone else. But a lot of people are drawn to you, number one, because you're a loving person. The angels say, and you're standing in your power on doing your craft. And I feel like you're very grounded with the two of swords being in reverse here, meaning that you're grounded to the point that you know to yourself that you're on the right path when it comes to your career, because you're doing what you really like to do with this muse card. I'm really sorry about the blur, and you feel content on your own, which is really what you need to. To look at the angels say because you're someone, even though you tell me or tell us that you're someone who's not really that abundant, not really that rich, but at least okay, you're satisfied and happy about your life. That's who you are, and that's why you attract a lot of people towards you. Look at that, you have a lot of suitors, and but with the eight of cups being in here. Meaning, the angels say you're not yet choosing. Okay, you don't know which is which. That's why you're not making any move. You're not taking any cups. That's why this is in reverse. They told me. So with the Oriole and the Sphinx, I feel here that what's going on with you as of this time, if you ever be dating um a karmic. You're thinking of 
this person that's not really meant for you. You really need to end the cycle with that person because if you know to yourself that you're dating a karmic, you know to yourself that it's getting nowhere okay, in the future. So the angels say, if ever you're not dating a karmic, the angels say, I feel like you're overwhelmed by your options. So what they ask you to do right now is to meditate or continue on doing your work, the angels say. Doing what makes you happy rather than be depressed of not knowing which to choose. Because I feel with these two of um, ones being in reverse here, you don't know yet which to choose. That's why, you know, um, with your options, you're not to focus on them. That's what I'm sensing. Like, you don't know which is which. You don't know which to say yes. So, don't wonder why you're here. You're confused. So, this is the outcome. You got will, wisdom, and mind. So, I feel here that you're being guided on to do this with the King of Swords. Try to protect your heart. Because I feel like when it comes to relationship, I feel like you have a... This will of fortune in reverse. Like you think that people will leave you behind. People will cheat. And that's why you wear this, you know, tough surface that you're protecting your heart. So, with this scribe, I feel that you're someone also that is in hermit mode or in isolation from anyone else. So, with the high priestess being here, they want you to be open, meaning the angels say at least get to know about your suitors for you to know which is better rather than be someone who's distancing yourself, okay, and not letting people to you know make them make them what do you call this M make them be expressive to you of what they are like give them a chance for you to know them the angels say and they want you to let go of that fear that you have okay it's just normal to date someone it's just normal for you to be courted because you're doing pretty well in your career I feel like pal number one is some time for you to have someone else, okay? And release your ego, release yourself from the past. So if ever you're dating a karmic, I feel like the heaven is asking you to release yourself, realize that your person is not meant for you. You need to go out and breathe fresh air and know that once that you release this person, you will find someone whom is, um, has that chemistry with you, whom is on the same page as you are. Because the angels say, you have a fear of releasing your person. That's what I'm sensing. I feel like you have an attachment to them. That's what I'm sensing. And your fear is really the blockage here. But the heaven wants you to know it's some time to wake up. Don't forever wear your mask, wear these um, blinders because it's not going to help you, the angels say. So next card is Hilarion. So I feel like you're being asked as of this time to be in a hermit mode, okay, to go away from the crowd and isolate yourself think the angels say and use your intuition don't avoid your intuition guys please that's what they ask you to do next is the queen of forces so i feel like if ever you're dating a karmic take some time to heal and realize that you know you're really not happy with this relationship that you currently have with this person and realize that you deserve someone better if ever you're dating a karmic number one so anyway here are your charms number one so i will just place it here because it's noisy okay that's why i take it away from the camera and at least try um, not to make too much noise and 
I'm just letting the angels um, gather some charms for you guys. So you got this feeling, okay? And I feel like you're not happy anymore if you're dating a karmic. And I feel like your karmic is not aware about it. So I feel like the angels wants you to, you know, breathe first or release yourself from the karmic. Be in isolation. At least try to ghost your karmic, the angels say, so that you'll be able to breathe. Now, before you do that, you can tell your karmic that you want to be in isolation as of this time. Tell it nicely because you want to think of her about your connection. At least be authentic, the angels say, rather than run away, just go someone without telling anything. It's not really healthy, the angels say. So I feel like you're more mature in the situation. Like you know exactly what it is that you want um, in a connection. But for most cases of you here in number one, you don't really know which to choose. Okay, so if you're dating a karmic, the angels say, um, release the stress by embracing your inner child or at least you know doing things that makes you happy and i feel like you're standing in your power as an empress or an emperor which is really nice for some of you if you're in a karmic connection you could be married that's why it's very hard for you to end the cycle with that person i feel like you're being called on to end the cycle and you don't know yet what to do. So if ever there's a case scenario that you have a hard time to let go of your karmic, all I can say to you is trust the divine. Because even me, when I'm still in a partnership, in um, a marriage partnership, I was able to get out after nine years of being there. And how was I able to get out is um, when the angels came to me and tell me that I have to pack my things and leave the house after I was hurt physically by the father of my ex-husband. So I was able to escape because of the angel's help. Now, it's up to you if you want divine inter intervention, but the angels say, if you're really dating a karmic, the angels say, the heaven will help you to get out from it, the angels say. You just need to follow your intuition, the angels say. And I feel like for some of you with this owl here, I feel like you're wise. You're wise beyond your years. Because I feel here strongly that you're mature. Okay, and you know your craft already and you're doing very well with your career, which is really nice. It's just um, a confusion in terms of your love connection, the angels say. So we'll see what else about your magic card. So you got words left unspoken and bountiful harvest. So what they want you to do if you're dating a karmic is that you need to be authentic. You need to speak your mind, the angels say. Because to be honest, if you're not speaking your truth to anyone else, it will forever be... Um, a regret for you just like what happened to my life to be honest with you and that's why I see that having this communication with people around you especially your family um, it will really help you um, because on my experience okay I got um, pregnant for a very young age to be honest with you and I wasn't able to tell everyone before it happened that someone at school is stalking me and that person is um i'm very obsessive and i don't really like that person i was dating someone else at that time and my my boyfriend that time really um acknowledged my virginity and he respected my virginity and this other guy that's very aggressive did something to me and unfortunately I got pregnant 
So voice really make a difference, to be honest with you. If only I was able to speak up before it happened, I was able to, you know, be in a different school for that to be avoided. So anyway, with this bountiful harvest, I really feel like you really are someone whom is, um, who is abundant and I feel like you have a lot um, to offer, to give those people around you. That's why, you know, a lot of people are into you even if you're not looking for a love life. So, I feel like if you're with a karmic, I'm sensing here that your karmic is really someone who could be manipulative to you or you know to yourself that they are unhealthy and they want you to put your boundaries up they say and someday the angels told me that you will be forced on to release yourself from this karmic that's what i'm seeing here so i feel like right now you're in a period of isolation because this is where you should be if you're dating a karmic because the angels say realize that there's always a war in your karmic connection because the heaven wants you to know the truth that this person is not healthy for you. They have a lot of childhood issues. That's why they're very deceitful and playful. And you're being required on to heal from this connection. Because could be this person. Um, I feel like could could put you on hold or could um just... Um, hold you back from growing. That's what I'm sensing. Or they say mean words to you to the point that your self-confidence was affected and you can't even tell the truth to this person. That's what I'm sensing. Could be you're dealing with someone who doesn't listen to you. Because it says here, my battle cry reaches ears far keener than yours. So yeah, this person could be someone that doesn't listen to you. That's what I'm sensing. And if ever you're not dating a karmic, okay, I feel like a lot of people really wants to be with you. And pay attention to someone, the angels say, that are trying um, to be like you. Okay, trying to to be someone whom is in the same page as you are because this person really wants to be in a partnership with you and I feel like this person is a seducer that's what I'm sensing or manipulative for you to choose them that's what I'm sensing and the angels say having this person that really likes you that is the page of cups being here they say that it's very risky if you chose this person, the angels say. As I can see in your reading, they are ungrounded, guys, okay? And I feel like you're someone who's grounded, someone who's accelerated more than them. And they want you that this person will disrupt your peace from reaching your goals and your dreams. So I feel like the heaven is protecting you from whomever the page of cups is, as the angels say. One of their suitors that doesn't have a good interest in you. The angels say, don't worry, if you let go of that suitor, they will give you an alternate blessing, which is someone who has a loyal heart. And the angels say, whom is faithful. I feel like this person, whomever will be your new lover, is someone who also has feelings for you and they are faithful. And same goes if you're dating a karmic, the angels say. They want you to know that if you release yourself from this toxic person, they will give you an alternate blessing. Someone who really have... um love for you and those person who has faith as well they are very religious and loyal towards you so take some time and don't accept the cup of the page of cups based on your reading so we'll see 
What is the overall theme of this reading? Number one. So you got the yin and truth be told. So if ever um, you have a suitor, the angel say, I feel like you have been receiving signs from your suitor. So they are offering you a lot of gifts. That's what I'm sensing. It's because you're standing in your power. That's why I strongly feel here, if you're a feminine, really you're in this loving vibration. That's why a lot of people are drawn to you. Now, truth be told, if ever you're dating a karmic, the angels say, better tell the truth to this person. The angels say, it's not time to remove the mask, that you're not happy anymore about your relationship. You have to be honest, the angels told me. And with a deep knowing and peace, I feel like you know this already, that this person isn't really good for you. And you want peace and quiet, that's what I'm sensing. Could be you guys are always fighting and this is what you dream about is to be at peace and to be in that loving vibration with someone new and someone who will understand you that's what i'm sensing here now for those who are not dating a karmic who's looking for a suitor another thing why people are drawn to you could be because you're very abundant Okay, they are there when you're rich, but if you turn this in reverse, okay, what will happen to them? So what I want you to do, in order for you to know who is the good person for you and how to um, see others beyond their mask, if they're lying to you um, or they're just there because you have abundance, I feel like your intuition is telling you because I feel with this Wheel of Fortune card, it reminds me of the Page of Swords. Someone who knows the truth already, whom to cut out. I feel like you need to learn how to tap into your heart, to your hunches, and to your intuitions for you to know whom is best for you. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you know already about this. That's why the angels are asking you, okay, do some background check, okay? And they understand that you're closed off. But take some time, the angels say, to know your suitors rather than do this, okay? To take some time to know them. So you may know whom is wearing the mask versus the not, the angels say. Anyway, let's see about the advice that the angels has for you, number one. So you got, you're already doing it and you also have Council of Light. So for those who's dating a karmic, the angels say, I feel like you're in the process of releasing yourself, realization that this is not really the one that is made for you. Because it says here, stop overthinking, keep facing your true north. So the angels say, um, you tend to overthink things. Okay, I feel like you doubt a lot on what happened, what will happen in the future. Just relax, the angels say. Take some time to heal. Okay, as you move forward along the way. That's what you need to do, okay, upon releasing your person. And of course, communication needs to happen in your connection. You don't have to go right away. You need to tell this person why did you left. Next, Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtile, subtile Realm, sorry. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm sensing here is that you have been receiving signs from your guides, from your angels. That's why I feel like you're standing in your power or you have that um, divine love um, that's filling your energy. It's because you're connected to the divine the angels say that's why a lot of people are drawn to you and they also want you to know that you're being guided the angels say at this time of crisis and that's why you're standing in your power and you're blessed 
with abundance and care. You could be a light worker already. You're doing your craft, which is good. But be careful on whom you let in, the angels say. That's why getting to know each other is very important, guys. And remember to know how to block people that are not of best interest for you. So as your advice, you also got eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So the angels say, um, if you're doing pretty well already, the angels say you can accelerate yourself by learning new skills. The angels say, or by reading a book, or even studying by YouTube. That could be. Next solutions, Archangel Zadkiel. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and practice, forgiving and healing energy. So, if ever you're dating a karmic, the angels say, um, there will be a solution for it, the angels say. And I feel like you will have a successful outcome, which is you will break away from this person and finally be healed and have your inner peace and quiet. Because I feel like you have been dating and there's always fight and argument in your connection. And they say the only way that you will be at peace is for you to distance yourself from toxic person, the angels say, that are not meant for you. There will be a solution that will happen, the angels say. If you can't really get out from this, the angels say, they will help you. There will be a divine intervention that will happen in your life. And as the angels say, just care for yourself as of this time. And remember that there is hope, as the angels say. Next is Queen of Gabriel, passionate, charming, brilliant, independent. You can do anything right now. Go after what you want, the ability to attract helpful people. So I feel like you're attracting a lot of, you know, suitors, people in your life. Okay, because you're standing in your power and you're an independent person. You're reliable. Um. All I can say is that the angels say, whatever you desire, whatever you're passionate about, the angels say, you can go after that. You can control your own destiny, the angels say. That's another thing that you need to learn about that certain ability of you. But remember your limits as well, the angels say. What do you mean by that? So you're always in the go. Remember to rest and also to contemplate on what it is that you really want. And remember that we can put everything in our plate, okay? Just do one thing at a time, one project at a time. You might overwhelm yourself or abuse even your body upon doing multiple projects, the angels say. Um, sometimes we need to rest. That's why the angels say quarantine is really important in this world since a lot of people have been very busy with their job that they forgot about their body. They forgot about self-care. Now here are the other advice for you. So you got artist. Engaging in artistic activities is beneficial to your career and every other area of your life um, what it tells me is that you could be an artist and upon if you want to accelerate um with your projects or with what you're doing the angels say some of you requires to study the angels say okay i feel like you're good at it so continue <laughs> okay and practice your craft the angels say so freedom, you're free to do what you choose. So it has a connection as well with the Queen of Gabriel being here. If you're someone whom is already in a connection but it's karmic, the angels say you can choose to be free if you want. You can tell the truth to this person because I feel like some of you lose your self-confidence could be because 
your person that you're dating is someone that's toxic. The angels say, and know to yourself that you're an independent person. You don't need to always be afraid. I feel like some, in some cases, okay, your karmic could be somebody who destroyed your self-confidence to the point that you forgot your independent side. So the angels say, to tap into your power, you need to be free from somebody that's holding you back from getting to where you should be. Then the next is infinite abundance. Wow. So you have, you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. So some of you are being called on to do your life purpose job. And I'm sensing like for some of you, your life purpose could be giving, um, counseling, helping the poor with your abundance, caring for the sick, and so forth. So I feel like if you're gonna devote yourself from your divine life purpose, you will be rich, the angels say, because the heaven will give you infinite abundance since you're planting good seeds of good karma on earth. And you're helping a lot of people, the angels say, planting the seeds of happiness and joy in their heart. Is there anything else? They said, um, all they want you to know is that have faith. If you're dating a karmic, the angels say, you have to release yourself from your karmic, realize your worth, and rebuild your self-confidence, especially if this person, you know, destroyed your self-confidence, okay? Because some karmics are narcissists, and they, of course, destroy you if you're dating a narcissist. And you have to remind yourself that you're an independent individual, and you can reach for your goals and your dreams. And if ever you're still connected with that person, the angels say, another reason why you're not standing in your power because you're turning into someone that is codependent over them. So avoid codependency issues, the angels say. Stand in your power. Even though you're in a connection, do your best you can at work, the angels say. And for those single people out there, if ever you date the Page of Cups, who you know to yourself is... Um, a very mature energy release that person, the angels say, because as I see here, you know, you're being tested by the divine, um, not to rush love, that's what I'm sensing here. If you release that page of cups, they will give you a new suitor, or they will send you someone new. I feel like that will be a test for you, if you will rush love. Is there anything else? Lisa, that's it. So, thank you for watching those who chose number one and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi, guys. For those who chose number two, which is the Angel of Magic, the Magician card, here is your reading. So, we'll see. <clears throat> what does the heaven wants you to know? So here is the overall theme for this reading. You got Imagine. So we'll see about your magic cards. Number two. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know. What does pal number two needs to know right now? One more detail. So we'll see.
one more shuffle they say so another should I take all so they asked me to take all of it I feel like they want to tell you a story number two <laughs> Because I can stop, it means that the angels wants to tell a lot of things to you with the magic cards. Please said yes, it is. Okay, and I feel like they want a detailed reading for you guys. So right, so I know that some people are annoyed whenever I place a lot of cards, but I'm following my angels here my guides in my channel and i do respect them because without them i won't be here in my channel so anyway let's see about your tarot angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know What does spell number two needs to know right now? Three more shuffles, they say. The angels told me this is my reading too. I don't know why. <laughs> because I feel like I more resonate with one, but they say it's not my pile. I wonder why. We'll just see. I really don't know the outcome, guys. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So here is the overall outcome. So you got six of keys reverse, the waterfall, and also Kashik Library. So I feel like um, you guys are, some of you are started to date someone or some of you, they, this is upright according to them. Some of you are already involved with someone else but not sure if that someone is really meant for you. If that's the case scenario that you're still single but you like someone. Now we will clarify. So basically it sounds like a love reading we will clarify for further details angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here i'm sorry about the blur my com camera just want to focus So I just let the angels place the cards where they want to place it. So the heaven said that you have been receiving signs about this new person in your life. If ever you're dating this guy or this girl already, you're on the right track, the angels say. That person was given to you by the heaven. Because I feel like you have been suffering a lot in terms of love connections or basically your life itself i feel like they sent you to someone new to make you happy and i feel like that is your reward for being a good person still despite of what happened in your love life the angels say or in your life basically so anyway here is the energy that's affecting your whole reading so you got the king of roses being in reverse here so i feel like you're someone who has a lot of choices with regards to love connection and i feel like you're in this loving energy and i feel like people around you are aware that you're someone that is this loving queen of cups energy and you have a lot to offer um, to everyone, I feel like you have that nurturing vibe, like motherly figure vibe, because it reminds me of Cancerian vibe whenever I see a Queen of Cups. And basically, based on your energy, 
That's what I sense about you. Like you're a loving person. That's why it could be a lot of people, you know, took advantage of that kindness of yours. Now, this is your first card. You got the loving elementals here. So I feel like you're really a loving person. That's why a lot of people are drawn to you. And you're someone who's workaholic as well. You could be doing very well with your career. You could have a lot of money already. If not, meaning you're abundant, you have a stable job. That could be. And you're standing in your power as your divine masculine energy so even if you're a female watching this it means that you're doing very well with your 3d for is a 3d realm okay um with your career itself i can hardly speak on your reading i don't know why could be people find you very intimate intimidated <laughs> or they could be intimidated by your presence since you're standing in your masculine energy, which is a workaholic person and independent, and people look up at you. Could be because your work is basically, you know, um, about you standing in your power, or you could be a famous person, that could be. Next is the bird's nest. So I feel here that with the moon, I more sense here because I, I smiled when I hold this card. Um, basically, I feel like for some of you, you could have a crush on someone. If ever that's the case scenario, this person is very secretive. Okay, and they didn't share to you how much they really want to offer you love and comfort and nurturing to you. And they see you as the one already, um, even though they haven't communicated it to you yet. And now that is what you need to know with the moon card here. Basically a secret <laughs> that you need to know. Now whomever your crush is, they have a crush on you as well. Now because they see you as someone who's workaholic and they really like your vibration with the sun being here. You could be a light worker. You could be someone who shines, someone who's on the spotlight even. You could vibrate high um, to the point that... If ever people see you, they know right away that you're a loving person. They know right away that you're a happy person to have. Like you're not um, a stressful person or you're someone who glows on your own even without anyone else. Because as you can see in your reading, this person is alone. Okay, but you're doing very well. You're in an independent individual and that's why whomever is in love with you really likes you a lot. Okay, really likes you of who you are. And this is a secret admirer with a moon card here. So the next is a lightning bolt. So I feel like this is you, the queen of pentacles. And I feel like you have been through a lot. That's why, you know, you're now... Um, realizing your worth, you now know where you stand and I feel like you're really a strong person and with the death card being here yeah, you transform yourself into the queen of pentacles because of what you have been through now we'll see about the outcome first outcome is the increscent moon so for some of you, the angels say they haven't sent you a person. I feel like the one that they sent is this one, okay? Who has true feelings for you and good intentions to give you loving and caring comfort energy here. I feel like it's your reward since you embrace your spiritual path or you change a lot because of your um, experiences. You change in a good way. That's what I'm sensing. That's why finally to heaven is giving you someone whom is deserving of you and all you need to do the angels say is have faith that after this heartache and after someone broke your heart could be you dealt with a cheater before so they want you to take some time to heal and i feel like whomever your ex is or whomever hurt your heart that person is not the one i feel like you're your future is with someone that has a crush on you, a new person, 
or it could be your friend, the angels say. Um, and that is really admiring you from afar. Alright, and I feel like you need to let go of your past person so the new may come in. Next is the waterfall. So I feel like for some of you, you're still holding on to someone from your past. So better let that go, the angels say. Because you know to yourself that you're upset about this person and this person really, you know, um, didn't make you feel like you're wanted you're upset about the connection i really feel anger here but you're still holding on so the angels say go with the flow of what god wants for you that's what they want you to know the angels told me how can they give you someone new if you're holding on to the past that's what they want to say and you need to learn how to you know um know whom is meant for you or know your value the angels say at least the angels say because some of you you're holding on to the past person and you accidentally manifest it the angels say i feel like you guys have a power of manifestation all right and whomever you keep on thinking and thinking you could end up manifesting that person back in your life that's why they're asking you please release your attachment to your past person and know that they are unhealthy for you try to browse your past with this person is your connection really worth it is this person really a good person for you that's what you need to contemplate about because they haven't say once that you let go once that you stand in your power and be the nine of pentacles that new person will come in the angels say and i feel like for some of you if you already know this person okay whomever is that loving energy here just like your vibration the angels say they have been giving you signs that this is the one for you okay and last um not the last okay the queen of forces being in reverse so i feel here that you need some time if ever you haven't healed yet from your past person heal yourself the angels say take some time to heal and don't rush love right away um, because if you rush love and you're still not healed, you might carry the burden of the past to your new person. So take some time to rest the situation, the angels say. Oracle of Delphi. So the angels told me that if ever you still hold on to your past person, you're not going to stand in your power, the angels say. Because they haven't say that this person is holding you back from growing and you need to have a good judgment why this person is not good to be with you because you're really meant to be with someone else new and the future is in your hands the angels say but you're just hearing this reading for you to know to wake up that you should let go of your past person that you have in mind and know that there's someone else better for you that is your reward from the divine since you have been doing a very good job here on earth and you have been suffering so that's why the heaven gave you um, a true romantic partner that you seek and remember know your boundaries know um, what to deserve the angels say One more, as they told me. So, for some of you, you already have a crush on your new person here. Sorry. And not on myself. So, I feel like you this world card here. You need to put an ending to your past person. You need to release that person. Because you know to yourself that you're unhappy with that person. Okay? With your past one. So if ever you're still in this healing period process, what they want you to do is that 
you need to accelerate your vibration by doing something that makes you happy like reading a comic book <laughs> the angels say and if ever you already met um, the person that they haven't sent for you you're gonna fall in love with that person and this person will also have feelings for you and they could be a good communicator that's also what i can see as a clue and some of them are nerds okay or they are mature um you don't have to doubt them that's what i'm sensing that's why they are they will felt drawn to you if you are standing in your power because you know they are someone whom is on the same vibration as you are and that is what you deserve number two so anyway here are your magic cards you got um shadow glider so it tells me that you need to release yourself from your past person and by meditating the angels say you will realize why this old partner of yours or the past person is not really good for you i feel like whomever um hurt your heart is someone who has inner child issues and could be you're confused with your past person because you could be aware that they're still watching over you and i feel like they want to come clean that you know um they could be a good person for you could be they persuade you to come back to them that's why you got confused with your decision making and by this reading the angels are telling you that your ex or your past person is not really the one for you because you need to remember what they did to you the angels say and know that they are not a good person for you because the heaven wants you to open up your heart for someone new and also take some time to heal your inner child or to heal your anger with your past person so you may open the gates towards a new person and have a fruitful connection without any attachment with your ex or with your past person so they're asking you to free yourself and put to rest about the past don't show the past the angels say accused and house of war so i feel like there's full of a war trust issues with your ex or with your past person and they could be a player that's why they haven't sent to you a new person and this person will help you reach your dreams and as i told you this new person that will come your way is someone that is communicative or good in communication could be their job is about communication okay about communicating a lot could be a call center agent could be a teacher could be a lawyer even just say what resonates and font of fertility so i feel like you're someone who's very abundant and i feel like that's why you're gonna manifest someone whom is on same vibration as you are with the manifest here and avoid manifesting your past person that is a disruption of your peace the angels say and it's very risky to accept this false person um, or whomever your ex or past lover is because you know to yourself that this is not the one and for some of you this could be your twin flame that tries to come back and the angels are asking you please free yourself because you have to put your life in order because you know to yourself that you deserve someone better and they ask you to let go of your past person so you may have this new beginning with someone else they ask you to put that to rest okay with your past person take a rest a break if you haven't healed yet as the angels say because some of you you're still afraid of love life so take some time to be in a hermit mode that's what they want you to do and i feel like you're mad some of you are mad about the isolation but the angels say um take the isolation 
as you know, a good medicine for you to heal. The angels say the memories of the past. The angels say, and with this inner shadow, and I feel like whomever broke your heart in the past, they have inner shadow. There, it's still there. The angels say, and yes, they're watching you behind closed doors but they're still wicked the angels say and they might ambush you because they're waiting for a perfect time wherein they can steal your heart once again and they're still deceitful that's why the heaven is protecting you from this person because um if you don't let go of them you will continue on having this dead weight Okay, this person is a hindrance to your growth on reaching your dreams and desires in your life. That's why the heaven is protecting you from this person and showing you the truth that you deserve someone better. Okay, whom will be able to, you know, be united with you in a good way or whom will help you to accelerate in your life. So protect your heart from your past lover and you're being forced on to release this past person to reach your goals and your dreams. So revoke existence, meaning you need to cut an end to your ex, okay, or to your past person and know that you can be independent even without them because it says here, my secret ingredient, well, I can tell you that, but here's a hint, it's not love. So basically, you can, you know, stand in your power even without love life and you, you're an independent individual. That's why a lot of people are drawn to you even a karmic and also a new lover <laughs> okay so you could be dealing with two people your karmic and your love so if it's your twin this could be a twin that is has this karmic vibe okay and a new lover that will help heal your heart so take some time to heal the angels say and I feel like you know the new person already. For some of you, you're dating that person already. Congratulations. And if you know this person, the angels say, just continue on, you know, having this vibration or happy vibration with your new lover. So with this Imagine an Angel of Magic card. I feel like you guys, whatever you imagine, you can manifest it. That is one of your powers that they want you to know. So, since you can manifest whatever you think of, then avoid thinking about your ex. <laughs> okay, and focus on your new person. And also... Um, don't ever think negative things since this is your power. Um, better think positively, try to practice it, and don't worry too much about your life. Practice thinking positive. <laughs> oh dear angels, you just repeat it. So anyway, here is your advice number two. So you got Imrama. Where are you being called to journey to? So I feel like you're being called on to release the past behind based on your reading. And they're telling you, don't worry because something new will come towards you if you haven't known that person yet. And if you have someone new in your mind, that is the one for you. They say that is a gift of the universe for you. For, for being a light worker for some or... For being strong and, you know, for standing in your power as well. That's what they want to say. Now, what else? So, you got strength and you also got empress. So, it's strength first, okay? Um, Angel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, and forgiveness. So, they ask you to forgive your past person. Take some time to heal if you are... Your inner, I'm sorry, I can hardly speak. If you aren't healed yet, take some time to heal your karmic. So, the heaven will release okay, your karmic in your life. That's, and peace will be with you, the angels say. Because I know that some people here in this reading is not yet at peace with your ex. 
so i feel like the heaven is trying to help you to be at peace with that person and know that that is not the one for you okay they could be a karmic or a toxic person in your life even though this person is your twin it doesn't mean that you should be with your twin if there's still a child not vibrating yet like you are then they are not the one yet the angels say because you're standing in your power as an empress or an emperor and you have emperor and empress here so empress it tells archangel gabriel time to act upon your plans creative is creativity is rewarded luxurious or abundant resources so i feel like whomever came your way that new lover again i see a butterfly here and <laughs> it could resonate with this one there's butterflies i feel like you outgrown your twin if you have a twin in your past and that's why they are giving you someone that is more deserving of you and I feel like you're um, divinely guided to this person. And it's safe for you to love whomever you ask about, the angels say. And the angels say, continue on standing in your power. And continue on um, doing what you're being called on to do, the angels say. And I feel like you're someone who could be a light worker as well. That's what I'm sensing. And I see that you're beautiful or handsome. And you're grounded yourself. That's what I'm seeing here. You know what you want. And with a green color here, you really need some time to heal. That's also what I can see here. You outgrown <laughs> your twin, they say. So anyway, um, here are your cards. So you got family. Loving your friends and family is central to your life purpose. So the angels say the one who's coming your way is someone you're destined to marry. You're destined to have a family with this person. And with the travel and light, light and love, I feel like that person could be a traveler, could be someone who lives far away from you. That's also what I'm seeing here and could be a long distance connection as well and through online you can communicate. Um, that's what I'm seeing. So that's a clue. Whomever lives far away from you and a new person in your life. This could be a foreigner as well because as you can see with this family card, the other girl looks Asian and the other um, looks in a different culture. It could be so with the light and love being here your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world so i feel like guys you're really in your energy of healing others and the angels say that people see you as someone who's an empress who's a loving comforting energy that's why a lot of people are drawn to you and whomever is coming your way also vibrates the same way as you are. And they really see your glow. They really see you for who you are. And they're in love for who you are. That's what I'm sensing. They're attracted to you. And I feel like whenever this person remembers you, they may, they're happy. Whenever you send them a message... And I feel like they could be an earth angel. That's what I'm sensing. The one that they will send forth for you to marry. I feel like that is a new person and not someone from your past. Remember that, guys. Don't focus too much with your past person or else you might accidentally manifest the wrong person. So, is there anything else? They said that's it, so let's have a recap. So by the way, the heaven wants you to know is that the one that is destined for you is a new lover. And for some, if you're dating already that new lover, congratulations guys. If you know this person that you have a crush on, that's a new lover, that is the person. And pay attention to the signs the angels say. You will receive synchronicities about... Number five, the angels say, you might see number five if you met a new person. And that's the sign, the angels say, seeing synchronicities upon meeting the new lover. Just let go 
of your past person and forgive, the angels say. Once that you forgive, once that you realize your worth, that karmic cycle with your past person will be over. You will be at peace. They say, if you haven't healed yet, take some time to heal. And for the light workers out there, continue on standing in your power and doing your light purpose job, which is to love and nurture this world. So, is there anything else? They said, good luck, the angels say, with your new lover. And that is heaven's gift for you. So, they, they want you to know that you have to open your heart. And make sure that all is well, <laughs> the angels say, with your throat chakra and with your heart. Because if you're blocked, the angels say, you will know that you can't even communicate to your new lover. The angels say, it means that you need some healing work to do as of this time. So, is there anything else? They said, um... You can manifest the past person, but remember that person is not good for you. It's not your time for them to have you in their life. That's why um, they haven't blocked you from approaching this person. So for some of you, you experience that your throat chakra is blocked because the heaven is preventing you from reaching out to your past person because they want you to be happy with someone new whom you really deserve. So is there anything else? They said that's it. So thank you for watching those who chose number two and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hi guys, for those who chose number 3, which is the Angel of Innocence, the full card, here is your reading. So we'll see. What do you need to know right now, number 3? So here is the overall theme of this reading. You got milk and honey, and the angels say it's in reverse. So we're gonna take it reverse. So I respect my guides, okay? That's why I follow them. So we'll see about your magic cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what the spell number three needs to know right now. I feel like you, you need to... Your head hurts a lot. Could be because you're worried about what's going on with the coronavirus. I feel like you're worried that your health is at risk. You don't know if you already have it. That's why you're here in this reading. Probably you need some assistance and you're not telling everyone because you're afraid that your friends or your relatives may, you know, um, may go away from you. I feel like you're you're attached to them, the angels say, and you really have a fear of going to the hospital and being in isolation. But I feel like you have to be honest to your relatives or to people that have a concerns on you. Because if you didn't take an action, the angels say it might um, get worse, the angels say. And remember that if you take an action um, or immediate response to your sickness, the angels say, you will get the best results, the angels told me. I feel like you have been praying to the divine that, you know, this sickness will be over and so forth. And you don't understand why you're sick. I feel like you're, you have a pain already that you're sensing in one more. I feel like you're aware that you have the coronavirus, but you're not speaking up. I feel like it could be some of you, could be it's about your pride, or you don't want people to despise you. That's what I'm seeing as well. 
I feel like if you have relatives around you, they know that you're sick. I feel like they know already. And they're trying to persuade you to go to the hospital, but I feel like you're refusing because you're afraid. You're afraid to be alone. You're afraid to be away from your family. You're in your comfort zone. Or I feel like you're worried of what's gonna happen there in, inside the hospital. My head hurts a lot in your reading because you need healing, the angels say. That's why you're here in this channel. The angels say the voice of Vanessa may help you to heal. Um, actually, they told me that I have healing powers, but basically, I don't know how to use it. I don't know if you can be healed by my light language, but it's based on the heart chakra. So they have been giving you a lot of cards because they really want to communicate with you. I feel like your time on earth can be prolonged. That's what I'm sensing. If you take initiative with a lead here. Don't just base it on God, the angels say, because you're really sick. You really need to go to the hospital or clinic. We'll see about the tarot. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what the spell number 3 needs to know right now. And my throat chakra hurt in your reading. <clears throat> Probably you're having a hard time to speak right now um, because you're sick. You could have a sore throat because that's one of the symptoms. I feel like you're independent and you don't want everyone to control you. You could be a free person, free spirited, so you have this as your overall energy. That's affecting the reading and it's waterfall reverse. So this is your outcome. We will clarify the cards. You could be a boss of a company or you have a high position in your job. We will clarify. For more information, angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards. So that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. Thank you. Three more shuffles, they say. My head hurts, oh my gosh. A lot with your reading. I'm just placing the cards where the angels wants to place it. Sorry, accidentally knocked the camera. So here is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So you've got a six of forces in reverse. What I can say here is that you have been in sorrow, um, in pain about your sickness, but you're not telling anyone. That's why 
I feel here that your headspace is not really good. You're so worried about your health, with the Three of Swords being here. I feel like you want your sickness to be healed. I feel like you have been praying a lot to the Divine about this since you worry a lot. So that's affecting your whole reading. So first is Queen of Roses. So I feel here that you're kind of close off to everyone, but you're aware about your health. You're trying to stand in your power. You believe in yourself that you will be healed. I feel like you're trying to manifest it by your mind that you will get healed and you're seeking help from the divine because you're inside the church. So with clearing the way being in reverse, I'm sensing like for some of you, you don't want to go to the hospital because you don't have any money um, to push things forward. That's also what I can see. And for some of you, I strongly see here that you don't really want to go to the hospital because you don't want to be in isolation. You want to release yourself from isolation. It's also what I'm sensing here. Because if this is upright, look at that. They are kind of in isolation, right? So I feel like you don't want to be isolated. In some cases, some of you may not have any money for it. Or you don't want your relatives or even your friends or you don't want them to contribute anything towards you. So with a reflection, I feel here that you're indecisive whether or not to go to the hospital or stay at home and try to keep what you're encountering about. And with a reflection, they are asking you to reflect on what you need to do. Because I really feel like you can be cured if only you take an action, the angels say. Because if you don't take an action with a reflection reverse, you will be stuck in this um, turmoil waters, the angels say. You will not get healed if you didn't go to the hospital. Because the angels say if you go there, there will be a high chance for you. To be able to have this successful, you know, um, gaining back your strength, successful in um, getting your health back or getting your health check. I feel like if you take an action, it will be, you will be healed. That's what I'm sensing here. So the angels say with the Oriole and the Sphinx. I feel like you're ignoring to take an action. That's what I'm sensing here. You have a fear. Could be because you're the boss. Could be because people look up on you. That's why you don't want these people to know that you're sick. That's also the reason why you don't want to go there. And I feel like for some of you, you may not have that money to go to the hospital. That's why you're in isolation at your home. That can be. And then the next is the garden. So I feel here that you try to be strong. And I feel like you try to get away from others. You're in isolation because you're aware that you're sick. And the next is the willow. So I really feel like you're being called on to go to the hospital so that you may have medication, the angels say. Because if you remain stuck, you may thought that it's um, good for you and so forth. And suddenly what will happen is that your sickness may get worse. So what you need to hear right now, you need to go to your doctor to the hospital, to public hospital, if you can't afford. So you may, you know, may gain some strength. So at least on your end, you know, um, you try your best to fight the coronavirus or whatever. If it's not about coronavirus, um, this is a timeless reading. Um, it means that you're sick, okay? You really need to go to a doctor 
that's what I'm seeing here so anyway we'll see about the outcome so you got the queen of forces so i feel like the angels wants you to stand in your power and to at least help yourself i feel like you have been waiting for someone to help you could be you're already weak because of your sickness so what they want you to do if that's okay scenario reach out for help from others and I feel like manifested, the angels say, by taking an action or talking to your family or friends about your sickness. Next is the scribe here. So I feel like you're, you're not talking to everyone about your sickness. But deep within, I feel like you're losing strength already with this Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles reverse. I feel like you try to be strong, you try to neglect your sickness, that's what you're doing, like you want to know, I'm sorry, you want to share to the world that you're doing well with these two of wands here. So the next is the Akashic Library in reverse. So I feel like you're so worried of your sickness because you're, you don't have the strength anymore and you're worried about your abundance. And I feel like you're not happy, of course, you're because you're sick. And I'm feeling here that you're really afraid that people may not, you know, um, see you in a different light. You're happy that your success will be gone for some of you. I feel like what they want you to do with Akashic Library in reverse, they told me that you really need to seek help because you're worried about it already and you're thinking negatively rather than the positive so be positive that you will be cured because i see that there's a potential that your life will be prolonged if you take an action right away so we'll see about your charms number three So one more they tell <coughs> suddenly I can speak one more they tell me so have a logical approach the angels say because <coughs> I feel like people wants to help you they will send you someone who will help <coughs> that's what they want to say we decide of um, cups because for me this is side of cups energy so I feel like someone will help you <coughs> to go towards you know your the hospital i'm really sorry about my hand guys it's because um it has an allergy this before and now it's healing that's why it's it looks like that <laughs> okay so anyway um the angels say use your logic the angels say you don't have to be afraid because people loves you that's what i'm seeing here and the angels say that person will help you to to go with um to go to the hospital the angels say and with this journal i feel like you need to keep a journal about your life the angels say so you know if something may happen to you some people may have seen a note about this if ever you want to tell someone you can write a letter for your relatives for your friends and so forth i feel like you're so worried number three about your health we'll see about your magic magic card so i feel like you have been protecting yourself from people knowing your condition and i feel with this left in the cold inner child you could have abandonment issues that's why you don't want to make an action but the heaven is asking you take the lead go to the hospital so you may escape what you're feeling so you may feel well the angels say and light worker i feel like someone will really help you to go to the hospital the angels say 
and show fail and pathway arrow so i feel like for some of you you're trying to hide the fact that you're sick but every time you try to hide it it gets um you get hurt that's what i'm sensing here with heart tickle and leap of faith i feel like you will take that leap of faith because someone will know your condition and will have the heart to make you go towards um, the hospital that's what i'm sensing but you're really afraid of the risk this is what's holding you back it's the thermal waters or being inside the hospital in isolation that's what i'm sensing like you can control what's going on i feel like some of you since inner child is here you could be afraid of the hospital itself but the angels say it can help you prolong your life the angels told me so i feel like you're also worried about the number of patients there with the tournament grounds because it's inside the hospital and you know that inside the hospital there's a lot of people that are affected already by sickness or by virus and i filmed this video well it's coronavirus outbreak and if it's not about coronavirus i feel like you're just afraid to be inside the hospital so with the shield and truth i feel like you're trying not to think about your sickness but the heaven is reminding you and whenever the heaven is reminding you you feel very weak that's what i'm sensing because with the new horizons and lost in thoughts I feel I take it positively that if you go to the hospital, you will be healed and it's only your fear that's hunting you down. I feel like it's more on because of your inner child um, that you're afraid of the hospital, you're afraid of being in isolation, and you're trying to free yourself from your sickness by praying could be or using an alternative method but the angels say you can deny your health and the angels say um, this kind of sin towards you is triggering your inner child like you're very afraid to be there in the hospital so I feel like yeah by this kind of sickness it makes you realize of what you're afraid of that's what i'm seeing here and you're fighting your ego with the house of war because your ego is telling you about the risk and it's trying to manipulate you on to put the situation to rest but the angels say if ever you neglect your health the angels told me people will still see that you're sick people around you you can't hide it the angels say because with the alternate blessing and memory i feel here that you're trying to neglect your sickness people will see because i feel like you will be still put in the hospital because it's not yet your time the angels say and you will be in isolation like in in hermit mode and i feel like your ego don't like it because it reminds you of your trauma that's what i'm sensing and you're afraid to be in this lockdown inner shadow i feel like it's more on your fear of being watched over by the doctors by the nurses and we could enforce so i feel here that you're really afraid to be in the hospital and I don't say that you're wicked. I feel like you think that being in the hospital is not good for you. But the heaven is forcing you to go there. That's what I'm sensing. And I feel like you're really afraid to be in the lockdown. That's what I'm sensing. But I feel like with a book here, I feel like it's written on your Akashic records that you need to encounter this. That's what I'm sensing here. So greed and I feel like for some of you, you're afraid that your riches will be gone because of course you will give it to the hospital. And I feel like even though you don't have any money, 
for the remedy. I feel like you're still divinely guided to go to the hospital. That's what I'm sensing. Also, what I'm getting here, number three, is that the blockage that you have here is your imagination. The angels say, and know that you will be get healed if ever you release yourself from your doubts, from your fears, from your imagination of getting the isolation or thinking that going to the hospital is putting you on hold about the things. So sleep and threaten. So they ask you to put to sleep about your worries and anxiety about the hospital because it's your ego um, that is deceitful here. You really need to go there to recover. So you have this decision paralysis if you should go or not. But the angels say relax because someone will help you to go there if money is a problem i feel like it's your soul tribe who will help you with this and i feel like after you went to the hospital you will be healed the angels say you'll be happy once again and i feel like you can't avoid that because i strongly feel like it will be a relative or a friend whom will make you go there and divine timing and most close. So I feel here that you will need to realize that if ever you didn't go to the hospital right away, you may encounter less hours of the possibility that you can be healed. So I feel like your mind, you should let let go of your doubts, let's let go of your fear. The angels say so with a wait, I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting. Um, for some of you, you could be thinking negatively already about death. For some of you, you could be. You could be just waiting, like you think that your time is up. So anyway, let's see about your overall theme. So you got um, milk and honey rivers. I feel like you doubt that someone will will help you. That's why this is in reverse. They turn it reverse. It's only your thoughts, the angels say. Because to be honest, you can turn it in a pride, the angels told me. And I feel like it's your ego who's preventing you from taking that leap of faith to be healed. So go to the hospital, the angels say, and it's safe for you to tell your loved ones that you're sick. They will help you once that you communicate it. Don't wait for death to come, the angels told me, because you still have that hope that you will be get healed if you take an action right away, they say. So here are your advice. So you got dance with life, do something to change your energy. So if you're thinking negatively about being in isolation, they say, try to focus your energy on what makes you happy, like reading a book or playing online games. To uplift your vibration, initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So I feel here that you're, you're stuck in this one like you're sick already and they say that there's a possibility for you to be healed if you take an action the angels say think positively because um the angels say your life relies on your hands the angels say next is pillar of light your vibration is rising you are the oracle so i feel like you have a tendency to let go of your fear and know that you're being guided on by the divine. I feel like they're wanting you really to reach, to to do an action, for you to um, release yourself from this sickness, the angels say. So anyway, here are your other advice. So you got Knight of Michael, strong, committed, intellectual, and diligent. Time to make 
I'm sorry, time to move quickly, just logic over emotion, sudden changes. So this is what you need to do. You need to quickly make a move so that you will be safe, the angels say. That's what you need to do for yourself. So the sun, Archangel Uriel, life is wonderful, thrives through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Because the angels say you can be healed, okay, if you take an action and think positively. The angels say don't manifest negative thoughts. Next, the moon, Archangel Haniel, the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears, and grow stronger. So they want you to face your fears because it's for your own good, the angels say. And the heavens say it's safe for you to approach your loved one about this because they are willing to help you, they told me, and... Let go of your ego, let go of your pride, let go of what doesn't serve you because the angels say um, if you really want to get saved and speak up, that's what they wanna do, wanna say to you guys. Next time to decide, make a decision based on your heart's true desires and career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. So I feel, okay, I'm gonna read this intuitively. The angels told you that there's hope, but I feel like you're stopping from getting there to the hope because you're thinking negatively and it's affecting your decision making. So they want you to avoid negative thinking and look at this hope that you can be healed that's what they want you to do so basically the message for you number three okay you can be healed if you take an action and don't be afraid like if ever you have worries about money about isolation and so forth somebody here will help you to go there okay to go to the hospital um for your health concerns and i feel like if you can talk people knows that you're sick they will know because i feel like it's meant to happen that someone will come your way and realize that you're sick and this person will help you because really the heaven don't want you to die yet there's still hope the angels say i feel like you could be a light worker that's what i'm sensing here and it reminds me of one of the light workers that said to me because i asked how can you accelerate yourself to the higher realms um another thing um why some people can see angels why they accelerated because um they experience sudden death and then they go back to earth okay um it's i forgot what it's called um but anyway you may experience it so don't take it in a negative way the angels say because could be that will what hap that will happen to you since there doesn't to be a light worker for some of you since also i see a light worker card here someone will come to you and that person is a light worker as well. Could be they sense that you're sick, so that's why they help you. And another thing could be your soul will accelerate after this process. Could be your soul write this in heaven so that you can be able to accelerate your soul. Okay, you can finally see your divine life purpose once that it happened to you. Probably up there, God will show you what your life i'm sorry what your life life purpose is okay so don't be afraid and that is a positive thing that you should remember that could be it's god wants you to know something up there don't be afraid of death okay but if you're someone who doubt yourself to go up in heaven you may ask god for forgiveness okay and you may tell God that you want to change and so forth. 
and I feel like you're closer to God because of what's going on. And if ever you have the chance, okay, to experience that, you know, sudden death, and then you go, you will go down. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. You're gonna accelerate and see the wonders of heaven. Okay. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So thank you for watching those who chose number three and sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye. Hey guys, for those who chose number four, which is the Angel of Transformation, the Death card, here is your reading. So we'll see. What does the heaven wants to tell you? Or what do you need to know right now? Number four. So here is the overall um, theme of this reading, you got not for you. This is reverse, they tell, and then you got building blocks. I feel like in this spell, you could be someone that's a doubter or you worried about your life too much. So we will see about your magic cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what do you, do you want to tell pile number four? What do they need to know right now? One more shuffle, they say. So we will see. I feel like you have been reflecting about your life. I feel like you're recovering from someone to could be someone from your family suddenly died or you just left a partnership I feel like you let go of someone just like what resonates guys there's a lot of energy for number four different stories but they will tackle all of it okay so if ever you let go of your karmic the angels told me that you must have faith that you you have to realize that that is not what you deserve and i think that you're getting tired of having repetitive issues with regards to relationship if that's your case scenario I feel like you lose faith when it comes to relationships. I feel like you put an ending um, on finding true love. I feel like um, you're very detached from people or you don't want to try any more any connections because of the betrayal or because of what you've been through in your love life number four. I feel like you have a lot of options and you have a lot of secret admirers that wants to be your partner but I feel like right now you're not in the mood. You're healing yourself from your karmic. That's what I'm seeing here. If ever not a karmic, you're healing yourself from sudden death of somebody that could be like you're not in the mood for love life right now. You're focusing on trying to rebuild your life once again after the turmoil waters or heartache that happened in your life. I'm really sorry for those con whom um, someone has passed away. Condolence for you guys. I hope that you will recover soon. One more shovel. They want to give you a lot of cards, number four. Because we have a lot of, to say to you, the angels say. So the angels really want to tell a lot. And remember, four is a number of angels and home. Yeah, divine home the angels say so we'll see about your tarot and also stability okay but it really depends on your reading we'll see angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know 
What does pile number 4 needs to know right now? One more detail. So, we'll see. I feel like for some of you, okay, your karmic could be a player type or they could have an offensive um, voice whenever they fight with you they could say something that is not really good or something that is very striking very blunt could be or their bluntness is not to the point okay so you have the seven of keys as your overall energy that's affecting the reading and this is the outcome so for some of you the angels say you're slowly giving up on finding the right partner we will clarify angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so that you may be able to know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand thank you For some of you, really, I feel strongly that this partner of yours cheated on you and you hate it. I feel like you have anger within. Um, and I feel like you don't want to try anymore. I don't sense those cards. Sorry. If those cards pop out, it means that it's really meant for your reading. And my head hurts. I feel like a lot of you are angry as of this time i really sense how strong your anger is number four so try to become okay stay cool the angels say try to uplift your vibration so anyway here is your overall energy that's affecting the reading it's gonna be a quick reading the angels say so i feel like you're upset because i feel like you see this person who broke your heart as the one and you're upset that this person you discovered something about them i feel like you put them in a pedestal you see them as your world but unfortunately okay they didn't make you feel content and i feel like you're standing in your power and the angels say you must know that you're happy even on your own okay and you don't deserve someone who didn't treat you well as the angels say and avoid having codependency issues i feel like you're not satisfied and happy also with your love life but you're still hopeful before this is a before um energy here that you're hopeful with love life but then you're someone who got upset and irritated about what's going on with your love life that's why you're not that interested anymore as of this time now first card is add some so i feel like you release yourself from being hopeful with love life and you're ignoring the hope with the add some in reverse that you may encounter someone who will treat you well because i strongly feel here with the wishes fulfilled you're someone who's already an emperor in terms of finances money you're very abundant and i feel like you're kind of close off as of this time just focusing on money or saving your own money i feel like you just left really a connection here with the king of wands reverse and the two of wands like you had enough of relationship life and you say to yourself i will just focus on money making so the next is the sense of time in reverse um what i have here is that okay with the temperance you're still not at peace and harmony okay you still have anger and you're not waiting for someone new yourself um, busy with your work so what the heaven is trying to tell you is that take some time to heal your heart 
For some of you, you may experience a pause in your life. Though you're balanced in terms of money, you will experience a pause so that you'll be able to release the hurt inside of you because you're still angry you're not at peace and i feel like the soul contract of your karmic is over that's why there's all going back to your karmic or whomever broke your heart and you're left in the cold here because i feel with this high priestess card i feel like the heaven is trying to warn you by your intuition that this is not the one and i feel that you embrace it already you know the truth already that this could be just a passionate connection but not a real thing for some of you, you're still passionate about this person, but the heaven is trying to wake you up that this is not the one for you. Because I feel like the soul contract of that person already has been released in your life and you need to realize the truth of the matter here of what you deserve. Next is the two of worlds, two worlds in reverse. And they say to you that don't worry because once that you release this karmic, you will have this ten of pentacles. And some of you, I feel like you think it's over. Like you don't want a connection anymore. You will just be focused with your ten of pentacles, with your money. I feel like you're trying to stand up for yourself. And this is the outcome. And I feel here with a commitment, I feel like some of you are still attached with that person because of the commitment, could be you're married with this person and you think that this is the one because I feel like strongly with the accent here, you thought it was the one but you're upset with that person, like you're not happy anymore in the connection. For some of you, there's a possibility that you guys will be together again. And for some of you, okay, you will realize that this person will continue on breaking your heart, being this night of one's energy, because you're someone who is stable and happy and independent on your own. And I feel like that person will try to make you stay for them. And what the heaven wants to tell you is that, you know, you will be more happy, successful without your karmic. The angels say without anyone, avoid having codependency issue. Because I feel like the person that you dealt with in the past is someone that's toxic for you. So the angels say it's now time to wake up that this person is not good for you. This could be someone who is having that manipulative energy and I feel like you had enough with that person and I feel like this person is in and out of your life not being serious with you could be a player type okay and you're someone that's very different from them you could be a loyal person and they are not so since you guys are not on the same page this is not really the right partner for you. You will end up being wounded hearted with this person that is your karmic and this is a toxic relationship already. And you know that the angels say no need for you to hang on with your karmic that is, you know, being a player, a cheater and not being serious with the connection itself. So one more they ask me. So anyway, you have these um, charms. The angels say you need to have a logical approach. You need to question yourself. Okay, is this karmic healthy for me? Because I feel like for some of you, you're too focused in passion. Okay, and I feel like you think that this karmic will bring you joy. That's why you hang on with your karmic but your karmic is still immature the angels say and they want you to wake up that this is not the right person for you since based on your reading they could be a player a cheater or someone 
you can took advantage of your money or have that controlling energy and you need to put an ending to this cycle and know that if you put an ending to your new i'm sorry to your karmic someone new will come in your way okay that's what i'm sensing so i feel like you doubt your luck with this lucky cut you doubt your luck with regards to connections and they say don't worry because a new lover will come in your way once that you're ready but remember take some time to heal yourself because i feel like you still have anger with your karmic now we'll see about your um magic card so i feel like you have a fallout with your karmic and now you're getting away from that karmic and you isolate yourself but your karmic still looking at you look at that trying to know what you're up to because you're standing in your power and i think that you think that this person is greedy if ever you're someone that's abundant they're after your money and i feel like you're aware about it and you think that that's the reason why you're losing a lot of money you're a good manifester of money that's why your ex or your karmic is coming back to you and you really need to let go of your karmic the angels say and don't let their their doings tolerate tolerate the angels say your income so it says here learn from your enemies but do not tolerate them so you need to learn about your connection with this person and hide yourself from them because they're stealing your abundance your money they could be manipulative and i feel like you need to encounter this with regards to your light worker job could be you're being called on to be a counselor that's why it has to happen for you and some of you okay your person is really watching you could be there waiting for you to unblock them in social media and this person keeps on thinking a lot about you and i feel like also you as well but the heaven wants you to free yourself and realize that this person is hurtful that's what is it you you need to realize the angels say and i feel like once your person will come back to you they might steal again your abundance with return to nature and it will a never-ending cycle of reconciliation fighting reconciliation so you need to put the rest about your connection with your karmic the angels say and accuse them for hurting you i feel with this heart tickle and potential i feel like for some of you you stayed in the connection because you really have feelings for this karmic and you think that there's a potential but the angels are telling you that's just your imagination because you're being guided on towards your spiritual journey towards someone new that is your soul tribe so you're being asked on to make that decision and i feel like the heaven is trying to help you in decision making and i feel like you're being called on to what they call this to distance yourself from that past person of yours to hide yourself from them so that you may welcome a new person in your life and know that your past person is the one whom is controlling you with this one very controlling energy here or someone that is a hindrance for you to reach your goals and your dreams like this card okay and see the last hours about your connection the angels told me and i feel like your karmic will continue on to manipulate you they told me they're trying to get you back and the angels say the heaven is trying to protect you from your karmic and now is a perfect time for you to heal now that you're in isolation and they said that they're trying their best to protect you from your karmic i feel like 
being with your karmic is really toxic for you and you really need to breathe. That's why they ask you to leave your karmic so you may go beyond the limits or go towards where you're destined at. And I feel like you're meant to be abundant and you're meant to be with someone who will help you grow. The angels say your abundance and who's workaholic like you are. The angels say unite and unity. See, believe that there will be someone new, okay, who will help you with your finances, with what, with your craft. The angels say. And I feel like a lot of people really wants to be in your life with these tournament grounds. And I feel like for some of you, you had enough already with relationships because you kind of like having that bad, um, bad cycle of having player types um, or somebody that will put you in a third party i feel like you have a fear about it and that's what you need to fix the angel say or heal keep an eye and i feel like whomever your karmic is could have childhood issues that's why they're holding on to you tightly that's what i'm sensing or they could be mean to you so with a joy and high priestess so they want you to uplift your vibration by doing the things that you enjoy about and see also your worth and they want you to know what's what is your karmic like realize that they're toxic for you and you're meant for something else i feel like you're being called on to heal right now with regards to your karmic and also if it triggered your inner child um, I feel like you have codependency issues for some of you. That's why you're being called on to heal, the angels say. Because I feel like for some of you, you doubt yourself if you're complete on your own. And they want you to know that you're complete on your own if you take this spiritual path to see your strength. So with a wicked being here, I feel like that karmic of yours is wicked, could be someone that has a manipulative energy here and I feel like that person hurt you many times but you still have feelings for them, for some of you and this person is just after your money, your abundance and they're not really healthy for you and that's what you need to realize number four. So you need to put the rest about your connection and recover from it. And you're being called by the divine to be independent and single. And be single as of this time of healing process. And know that you're, be, you're being guided on to focus on your career and not love life as of this time. Because you need to heal your heart. That's what they want to say. My secret ingredient, well, I can tell you that, but here's a hint, it's not love, so you're being called on to focus on your career and put the rest about your karmic, because I feel like they try to come back to you in house of war, risk, and poison, to poison you to come back to them. So let go of this karmic, really the one for you, the angels say, they will just create disruption in your life. So this is your overall theme. You got building blocks here and not for you, reverse. So I feel like you thought that this is the one for you, really. But then you realize slowly that this is not the one for you. I feel like you keep on thinking about your karmic, but the heaven is telling you, hey, it's now time to transform. It's now time to let go of this person because they're toxic for you. That's what they want to say. So anyway, we'll see about what else. What are the advice for you? So you got warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So what they want to say is that they want you to cut the cords about this person already. And the heaven is calling you on to do that and to stand in your power as an independent person. Okay, and know that you're complete even on your own. 
don't need to be afraid to be single because being single will make you、um, awaken and making you see or realize your inner strength. Next is divine guidance by Archangel Sandalfon.、Um, the search for meaning in life. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers or friends. So I feel like you have been seeking advice from people around you, and I feel like even though, okay, you're not surrounded by such. Deep in your heart, I feel like you know right away what's the wise thing to do based on your reading. Be safe and with your magic cards, that that person that you're dealing is not of best interest. So it's now time to wake up and accept the divine guidance that the heaven has for you. Number four. Next is three of Ariel. Do what you love. A time of Um, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So I feel like since it's based on here, like if you let go of this karmic of yours, I will send you someone who will also help you with your artistic endeavors or someone. Who can help you with your career or finances? The angels say because I feel like your karmic is someone who is so supportive with you when it comes to your career. So the angels say, know your worth, okay, and know that you deserve someone who is willing to embrace your. Your potential or your destiny that you want to achieve, which is the wishes fulfillment, okay, that you have here, because I feel like based on your reading, this karmic of yours is stealing your money and not really of good interest with you, and you need someone who will help you accelerate and grow. Next is the star archangel Jophiel. A dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation. So they want you to put an ending to your karmic. The angels say you cannot reach your goals and your dreams if you're dealing with someone who is not even resonating with your vibe. I feel like you're someone who is grounded in terms of career, and they could be very dependent over you, and it's not very healthy. How can you reach your goals and your desires in life, or your future, if you cling onto someone that's not even healthy for you? They say, learn to let go of something that doesn't serve you. Pile number four. That's what they wanna say. So here are the other cards you got environmentally. So I more sense that you need. Um, you need to heal first. You need to ground yourself. Options and then animals and spiritual teacher. So I feel like with the animals, since some of you guys can't go out yet because of the isolation that has been happening in other countries, because I filmed this video while the coronavirus is still an issue. But this is a timeless reading, guys. Okay, so if you can go out still in nature, then go out to the nature and ground yourself. But if you can't, you can use animals. Okay, um, because animals can help you ground yourself by touching them and loving your animals. Okay, but if there's no way. That you can have an animal around you, or you can go to nature. You can as well meditate. Meditate that you're in nature. That also can help. And I feel here that you can have a good advice because I feel like you're divinely guided to have、um, someone. That will have this good advice for you. That's why you're being advised on to surround yourself with wise teachers or friends, and I feel like the heaven will send you a spiritual teacher to provide you guidance about your situation. And with the options here, could be you have a lot of options when it comes to love life. And they told me. That the best option that you will have is someone 
Home is like you who can build a finances or who can uplift your vibration, not someone who's holding you back. If you know yourself, you will know your divine partner or the one that is made for you. And I feel like whomever it is will have the same artistic and divorce as you are and someone who could cooperate with you with regards to your career or business venture. So that is your clue. So don't give up hope when it comes to love life number four. Because I believe the message that they want to send out there for you is that you need to wake up and realize that your karmic is not really good and healthy for you. That they're stealing your money based on your reading here. Okay, and what I can see here is that make sure that those who gave you good advices, I'm sorry, advice is someone that is wise, someone whom is, you know, gonna give you a good advice about your situation. So also second here is that they also want you to ground yourself because you have been through a lot of pain and heartache with your ex or whomever that karmic is ground yourself and let go so that a new person will come in your way someone who's balanced like you someone who understands you someone who is on the same page as you are with these skills being in your reading and someone whom is good with money as well someone who resonates with your vibe not somebody who's very controlling, manipulative, and using you only for money purpose. So, is there anything else? They said that's it. So, thank you for watching those who chose number four. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.